Welcome back to Mystical Heart Tarot Readings. This is a, another video on Little Missing Serenity Denard as seen through the eyes of a stranger with the help of spirit. So I've got quite a few questions, so this might be quite a lengthy video. So let's get started. I've got cold chills right now. Just so you know. So there is a spirit here with me. I don't know who. But then that's nothing unusual. I always have spirits near me. So, let's see. The first question I'm going to ask, it's going to be a who question, so I'm not going to clarify who, unless I see that it's possibly necessary to do so. Who took a polygraph test? Anybody else? Let's see if anybody else. Did anybody else take a polygraph test? Anybody else? I know there's quite a few people involved in this case, so I'm going to ask. Anybody else take a polygraph test? And I got two more cards. I want to make sure that you can see all the cards that I've pulled. I'm going to put this card here with these cards. I have a reason for that. Trying to make sure you can see all the cards. Because not only did this give me I don't I haven't looked at the astrology signs yet. I've got to I don't have everybody's I'm sure. And I'll explain this. So we're gonna start here. We have the Ace of Wands, which is Aries Leo Sagittarius. And this card, being the Emperor, is also Leo, which falls under the fire sign. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, we have a Leo. <laughs> we have a Leo. That would be the stepmother. And you see, I put the world card here. It's in reverse. That could represent incomplete or inconclusive. So, inconclusive, if you're not familiar with the polygraph, means you're neither telling the truth nor are you lying. What it means is they can't make a determination in either direction. And why would a polygraph test come up inconclusive? There's many reasons for that. I recommend, well, there's one polygraph examiner out there that does explain how the polygraph works 
and I know most people don't believe in the polygraph test, they've come a long way since the 70s and the 80s and the 90s. Polygraph tests have come in back, come to be much more improved than they were back in the day. Here we have cups. The cups is water, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I've got cancer. Being adopted mother. Also adopted mother's sister. Let's see, what else did I say? Scorpio and Pisces. So I have um, that might be too confusing if I say this, but so the stepmother has a stepdad of her own, and he has a wife who falls under cancer. I hope that comes out clear enough. Again, we've got wands. Again, that reflects back here. We've only got one that falls under that at this point in time. Let me check something I need to confirm a sign. Oh, okay, so I have the birth mother as being Leo as well. But when I first read this, I, I was getting the feeling of the stepmom. This one, I would, I feel, since it is the Queen of Wands, and I'm getting cold chills, goosebumps, and it's not cold in here. Trust me, it's not cold in here. I, I, there, this Queen has a dog with her, which shows loyalty. So... I'm going to say, I'll go back over these. I'm going to say this is the mom. And then we have the swords. Swords being Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, the only one I have that falls under that category is the stepmother's sister. So the question was, and I think I answered the next question here. So the first question was, who took the polygraph test? I believe this is the stepmother. And I feel that she either came up as... I feel like she came up as inconclusive. So there's many ways you can come up inconclusive. Number one is you can have a medical condition that you didn't reveal to the polygraph examiner. Not everybody can take a polygraph exam. If they have a medical problem, that can be an issue. That can cause the test to come out wrong. Number two... Women that are pregnant cannot take a polygraph test. Number three, if you are a substance abuser, you have to be clean and sober for a minimum of two weeks. They prefer you be clean and sober for a month. So that, things that can cause a polygraph exam to be inconclusive, medical problems, pregnancy, substance abuse. And I know that the 
people have researched, well, how do I beat a polygraph exam? Those don't work anymore. They don't work anymore. You can't beat them. Because the polygraph, a true polygraph examiner with the right equipment does not test according to your heart rate and your heartbeat and your blood pressure. They're testing your memories. You can't alter your memories. You cannot change your memories. Yeah, you can alter your blood pressure. Yeah, you can alter your breathing. That's not going to change your memories. So the next question that I was going to ask, being who failed the polygraph, I think the answer lies right here. So I don't even have to ask that question. We've got that answer right there. So we basically answered two questions in one. This one which is Aquarius if indeed this person did take a polygraph test I'm going to say that that person failed. Why? Because that card's in reverse. We have the world card in reverse covering these two. These two come out upright. These two come out upright. This one came out in reverse, which tells me that they're not being truthful. And again, this one would be the steps, stepmother's sister. So I feel like I answered two questions in one on that one. I know some. the question was, who took the polygraph? There's your answer. This person, I want to say, came up inconclusive. Which means one of three things. That I just explained. So now I'm going to move on. I'm going to do the who questions first because they go fast, you know, they're quicker. I don't have to, usually, I don't have to clarify the who questions. So the next question is. Who is in contact with Serenity now? Who is in contact with Serenity now? Anybody else?
Now well, let's look at what we got for astrology signs. So here we're looking at Gemini. I, the list of people that I have, I don't have Gemini. So there's another person out there. Somebody that we're not aware of. The Seven of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I have adopted mother and her sister are both Cancer. And as I said before, the stepmother has a stepdad and the stepdad is married. His wife is also Cancer. Here we have Wands being Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be the stepmother. This could also be the birth mother. Here we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The only Aquarius I have, the only person I have under those signs is the stepmother's sister. What are you into? Sorry, my dog is into something. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Oh. So, who is in contact with her now? Looks like we need to figure out who this Gemini is. As I said, there's people that I don't have astrology signs for. That would be people associated with the home she was ran away from. Also would be law enforcement that's involved. other family members perhaps that I'm not aware of and I'm not aware of their signs. Gemini is a strong card. Gemini is I feel like whoever this is, this is the important person. So for those of you that are familiar with this case if you know who the Gemini is and you want to let me know and you don't feel comfortable leaving that information in the comment section you can send it to me in an email. My email address is in my about section. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what my dog is trying to get into. <sighs> All right. Next question. So the next question, the next who question, like I said, I'm going to get these who questions all the way. I don't normally have to clarify those. So let's get these cards shuffled.
So the next question I was asked to ask, who is the main person responsible for Serenity's disappearance? Who is the main person? Who is the main person? Show me who the main person is. Responsible for her disappearance. We've got two cards here. So the first one is Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the other one is Swords, Gemini, Labor, Aquarius. And at this point, the only people I have that fall under the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces is the adopted mother and her sister. And again, this one's a tongue twister. The stepmother's stepdad, his wife. And as far as Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, there are none that I'm aware of. I'm not saying that there's not somebody out there that's under that sign. I'm just saying that I don't have the information. I've got four more who questions before I get to the other questions. So, moving right along here. I knew this would be a little longer video than normal, which is okay. I don't mind. I promised, ooh, and I got goosebumps. I promised that I would get this out there. I keep my promise. Next question is, who is keeping the main secret? Who is keeping the main secret? Anybody else? Well, you know, there's that Gemini again. I've got goosebumps, okay? And they're not going away. I don't know if whose spirit is here with me but there is a spirit here with me and it's very strong first card we have is Aries Leo Sagittarius we all know that the stepmom is Leo and that the birth mother is Leo then we have the cups again Cancer Scorpio Pisces 
That would be the adopted mother and her sister. And then we have this person here. Whoever the Gemini is. This person... And every time I say that word Gemini, the goosebumps on me get stronger. Gemini is an air sign, but I'm unlike these cards, I'm not getting one uh not one swords. A card of swords here. I'm getting the actual card representing Gemini. Now that's twice I've gotten that card. So there is somebody out there that I'm not aware of. Y'all might know. So I'll help you out. Somebody that you know born between May 21st and June 20th. That would be a Gemini. Who is keeping the main secret? There's your answer. It's more than one person. I would say this is probably the main person. Because it is a major card. It's a single astrology sign. It's not multiple. It's not where it could be multiple like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it's, this is ab absolutely the Gemini card. So let's go for the next one. The next one, I'm not sure how this is going to come up. For the simple fact that we know that there was a sighting where people thought Serenity was seen in Vegas. Now, I don't, if we don't know who that person was and it was not Serenity, I'm not going to have a clue. So I only need one card on this. Who was the Vegas girl? The one that everybody assumed was Serenity. <laughs> well, normally this card does not come with an astrology sign like the other, like the Gemini card. But this card is the Sun card. When I think of Sun, I think of Fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, let's put to rest the fact that that wasn't her in Vegas. That was somebody under the sign of Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Who? I don't know. But Serenity's car didn't come up. Okay, moving right along here. Who knows where Serenity is?
Who knows where serenity is? This card doesn't have a sign associated with it. And I'm not sure why I got that card. This card represents letting go in a way. There's another word that I, I don't know if I can use it on YouTube and I'm not going I don't say things on YouTube that's gonna bring problems to my channel. So I know there's certain words that YouTube has a problem with I don't know if the word for this card is one of them or not. So the best way I can rephrase it is this card is saying let go, letting go. This is, in a sense of speaking, letting go. However, we've got the cups here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I've already told you who Cancer is. There's three people. Who knows where she is? It's one of those three people. And I think if you look back over my other videos, I do believe I came up with a similar answer in the past. Okay, next one last question for who, and then we'll get into the others. question is, who took her? Who took Serenity? Who picked Serenity up by the cattle guard? Huh. Well, who picked Serenity up by the cattle guard? Okay, I've been told when Spirit wants me to pull these cards, I have to pull them. Alrighty. Hopefully that light's not glaring too bad. The Hierophant. Well, that could be one of two people. That could represent, this card could represent um, Serenity herself. She's Taurus. But so is the adopted dad. We have the Four of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I've already been through that. Excuse my dog. When there's a spirit around, she barks. And as I said, I've been having goosebumps, so 
Here we have Pentacles. Pentacles is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn now. Let's see, we've got, let's start with Serenity herself is Taurus, but we've got her card right here. We have her stepdad is Taurus, her adopted dad is Taurus, her birth dad is Capricorn. see here we have um, the stepmother's stepdad is Virgo can't read my own handwriting okay and the adopted dad's mom is a Virgo so we've got multiple people here. Multiple people. Who it possibly could be. The Wheel of Fortune, though, doesn't have a sign. So, the Wheel of Fortune represents a change. So were these people supposed to pick her up and a change was made? Going with the understanding, this is her card. This is her. These people were supposed to pick her up, but a change was made in the plans and this person picked her up. This is the chariot card in reverse, okay? The chariot itself, when it's upright, is travel represents travel but it also represents the sign of cancer adopted mother her sister and the step the stepmother's stepdad's wife Excuse my dog, she's been giving her medication, so hopefully she'll stop coughing here in a minute. Who took her? I'm going to go right there. Not only do we have the actual card for the sign of cancer, if this card were upright, travel. You can see it. There's the chariot. It is the chariot. Alright, let's get to the other questions now. I have one, two, three, four questions. No, five questions. Five questions that will be clarified. Well, the next question is a little difficult. 
when will she be located? We'll try. When will Serenity be located? When will Serenity be located? When will Serenity be located? So if I look at the numbers on these cards, I don't know if I'm looking at months, days, months, years, or her age. It's not clear because I didn't get other cards that I expected I would see. I've got these major cards here. But looking at the major cards, we have the Wheel of Fortune. You know, this wheel turns. turns with time. Spirit stain. It turns with time. If I look if I add the two numbers up on the cards, we have a ten and we have a nine. It could be nineteen. That could represent nineteen. I'm trying to see what Spirit's telling me. Let's try to get clarification on these. Because I'm not clear on why I've got two major arcana cards sitting here that when I add the numbers up, comes up to the number 19. Could that be the age? Her age? Possibly. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Fortunes clarified by the High Priestess. Remember, the Wheel of Fortune represents change. So let's look at this card. This is spiritual. This is a spiritual card. 
the High Priestess is a spiritual card. Possibly initials B and or J. Might mean something, might not. Yes, that's a low-flying helicopter. I've been asked about those before, too. So why do we have the High Priestess clarifying the Wheel of Fortune? The High Priestess can represent secrets. And I know that the question was, when will she be located? Let's clarify the Hermit real quick. Here we have the Three of Pentacles. The Hermit represents somebody under the sign of Virgo. We have Virgo here, and then we have Virgo Taurus Capricorn here. See, this isn't answering my question. as to when. Trying to pinpoint when a person will be located and found is difficult with the cards. But I can read the cards rather than looking at the numbers. I mean, we can look at the numbers. So we have the 10, the Wheel of Fortune is 10, the Hermit is nine, the High Priestess is two, and this card is a three. 19, 19, 20, 21, and three is 24. That could represent 24 days, 24 months, age 24. I can't pinpoint it. I wish I could. So we're going to move on because this is going to be a lengthy video. I don't want to linger too long. But as to when will she be located? I cannot give you a definitive answer on that.
So the next question I'm going to ask is, why did they search inside? Why did they search inside? Well, let's start with astrology signs and get those out of the way. Pentacles we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We know Serenity was Taurus, but there's many others that fall under those signs, in up to and including her stepdad, her adopted dad, her birth dad, and her stepmother's stepdad and her adopted dad's mother. So there's quite a few. There's quite a few that fall under that. Next we have the Five of Wands which is Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That is the stepmother and the birth mother that fall under those signs. Next is the Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The only Aquarius I know of is the stepmother's sister. The tower does not have a sun associated with it. So, let's look at these cards. Why did they search inside? Well, the pentacles, four pentacles being in reverse, this is going to represent the group home. There was some instability taking place inside. Five of Wands here reflects a conflict. A conflict in communication. So there was a conflict in communication that took place. However, I feel like there's a secret. And by searching inside, they caused what I will call a catastroph catastrophic failure. Why? Because she wasn't inside. Was there, so I'm not real familiar with the case, okay? Was there an alarm system that went, would have went off with her opening that side door? That could be the catastrophic failure if an alarm didn't go off. But if an alarm went off, then they knew the side door was open. And they knew she was missing. So again, why look inside? We're going to clarify. I don't know if somebody's seen her go out the door. If somebody's seen her go out the door and they knew that, then why would you look inside? Why? 
It makes no sense. Even to me, and I, like I said, I'm not that familiar with the case, but my understanding is she went out the side door. I do know that. I, that much I'm aware of. But as to whether they had an alarm system or not that failed, I don't know. There was a conflict in communication, a breakdown in communication. I see a breakdown in communication. Let's clarify the pentacles. And we have the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Something completed. This represents something completed. Something was completed at the home. We know what it was. She escaped. Let's look at the Five of Wands, the Conflict, we've got the Four of Cups, Conflict in a relationship of some sort, when I say relationship I'm talking about possibly the other, the and co-workers, conflict between co-workers at the home. The Four of Swords, or possibly conflict between other, other residents. Let's look at the Four, let's clarify the Four of Swords. We've got the Empress. The Empress rep represents the mother. The Empress upright represents mother. As I said, there's a secret. And now the tower. Let's clarify the tower. Clarifying the tower, please. Now we have the Magician. No sign associated with that. Or that one. So the tower, possibly being failed, failed alarm system or whatever, the change, the tower represents the change though. That represents her leaving the building. The magician, a magic act was played. All the tools were there. For it to happen. So, why did he search inside? Was the question. Somebody made that decision.
somebody high up made that decision because a magician is a powerful person. Somebody high up made that decision. To search inside. Next. Next question is, why was there a delay in calling law enforcement? Some of these questions I think I have asked before. And you can go back to the other videos. I'll have to look and see if I did ask them. And compare notes. See if I come up with similar answers. So this question is, why was there a delay in calling law enforcement? And there's that card again. This is all about communication. Well, Starting with the car, the astrology signs, we have swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the chariot in reverse, represents Cancer. And then we have the moon sign, which represents the sign of Pisces of which I don't see anybody under that sign, not saying there's not, just not aware of any. So the question being, why delay in call to law enforcement? And the first two cards is all about communication. There's that four. Something is withheld. As you can see, he's got three swords above him, but he's got one underneath of him. One there that he's not revealing. Here we have the ten. And the 10 represents when the call was finally made. So we go from a 4 to a 10. If you think of that, if you think of the numbers, the number 4 and the number 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, there's a delay. I hope that makes sense. This may be the discovery, the communication of the discovery of her 
missing. So we have five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Somebody didn't communicate it right away to other people. And then we're in panic mode where we finally do call law enforcement. Was it because there was a delay in transportation? I'm talking about Serenity's transportation that she was expecting to be out there. Did she go out to the end of the road or wherever expecting a vehicle to be there and there was a delay in that vehicle being there? Or perhaps the vehicle she was expecting to show up turned out to be a different vehicle. I have not gone and checked to see what moon phase was in place at the time she went missing. This was her leaving, getting out of, out of there. Her getting out of there was a dream to her. So Give me one second. Um, I may have to end this video due to a phone call. I'm waiting to see if it was something important. Matter of fact, I think I will make this the last question. I'll come back with another part. Oh. Okay, I can I can continue. Sorry, but when it comes to my grandson, this is important. But I'll, it wasn't an emergency, so let me go ahead and finish this video up. I've got more questions. Why we're asking or on why the delay in the call to law enforcement. I'm not going to clarify these cards. I think they speak for themselves. Somebody held back on reporting her to somebody important in the facility itself. When they finally got around to it, they went into panic mode and called law enforcement. The reason for the delay may have been because the person they knew that somebody was coming to get her. Somebody in that facility knew that she was being picked up and that the person that she was expecting to be waiting for her didn't show up, but somebody else did. And she had been dreaming about that time of getting out of that place. grab a tea because I actually finished this one off.
Okay. Next question. Now I know I did not ask this question previously. This is a new question to me. Some of the others I think I have answered in the past videos. This one is a new one that came up one I was not aware of. So. Why did the adoptive dad want the adoptive mother's rights terminated? Why did he want her rights terminated? Well, we're going to start here. We're going to go with the astrology signs first. could be Serenity herself. This could be her stepdad. And this could represent the adopted dad. That's the question's about. Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Once again, the same people that I just mentioned. But on top of that, add the birth father is a Capricorn. The adopted dad's mother. So Serenity's adopted grandmother by way of her adopted dad is Virgo and the stepmother's stepdad is Virgo the chariot is Virgo so that's the adopted dad's mother her her adopted grandmother now of course this one is the same as that one question being why did the adopted dad want the adopted mother's rights terminated The chariot I forgot to do that sign didn't I that's the adopted mother and her sister so Is it about money? That's what Pentacles is about.
That's one of the things that Pentacles represents. Money. So, reading the cards. Hierophant. Being in reverse. This person is not willing to give in, is very rigid. Oh, hmm, interesting. Not willing to bend. This is somebody that is that just doesn't that just doesn't give in is very you know, I'm trying to find other words besides this person is a very rigid person that's not willing to bend to what others want. The Ace of Pentacles That pentacle there? This person has a huge ego. The ace represents a new start. Well, if he took full custody, that would be a new start, wouldn't it? However, we've got the chariot in reverse. So, wanting full custody, or wanting her rights terminated, was a blind attack by his, on his part. He blindly attacked her with that. She didn't see that coming. And he moved forward with that. However, this knight, if you look at the horse, moves slow. I don't know if this is something that happened prior to Serenity going missing. Or if this is an ongoing thing. That part I'm not aware of. I don't know if this is something that's current or if this is something that was taking place prior to Serenity going missing. That part I'm not sure. I don't know about not sure about it. However, this doesn't answer why. This just does show. This verifies that he was pushing for her rights to be terminated. clarify this.
clarifying the Hierophant. We got the Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo is stepmom and birth mom. So since we've got the Hierophant, which could be the adopted dad, this could be the stepmom. The two working together. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, we have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. As I said, the Ace was a new start which her being her rights being terminated would have been a new start for the adopted dad and the king of swords represents the communication the stern communication however I'm not seeing there's one card that I would expect to see here and I haven't seen it yet and I'll tell you what that card is after I've clarified these last two cards and answer the question. The chariot, because that card could still come up. The chariot, let's clarify the chariot. Clarifying the chariot. We have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups. Upright. Balance. So, as I said, the Chariot represents Cancer. Wanting to maintain balance with custody. Now we'll do the Knight of Pentacles, clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles, please. got the Ten of Cups. The question was, why did the adopted dad want the adopted mom's rights terminated? This is a completed relationship here. Cups being Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces.
the why did he want to terminate? Could have been about money. With the pentacles. Could have been related to money. I see you somewhere over the rainbow. What's at the end of a rainbow? The pot of gold. So I'm getting from Spirit. Spirit's telling me that the only reason he wanted to terminate her rights was for financial gain. not familiar with laws in their states. I know in some states if you have a child you've adopted even some even though you've adopted a child you may receive some sort of monetary monthly income for that child. I don't know if that's the case but that's what Spirit is telling me. Not only did Spirit show me the two pentacles, which is, can represent money, we have the rainbow. What's at the end of the rainbow? The pot of gold. I've got one last question for this video. Question being, why didn't she grab a coat? I'll do a reading, but I can tell you she was expecting the vehicle to be there waiting on her. She was expecting a vehicle. But I'll let the cards tell you that. I'll let spirit tell you that through the cards. Why didn't she grab a coat? I can't make this up. I told you what I felt psychically. You've seen me shuffle the cards. I do that I purposely show you me shuffling cards, cutting cards and then shuffling more. I do that on purpose. That's why I record my videos purposely showing you that I'm not pulling anything. <laughs> I have no sleeves to pull cards out of. My information does not come from books. I don't read. Here's the book that goes with these cards. I don't read them. These books are useless to me. Information I get comes direct from, from my spirit guide and my ancestors. They're the ones that tells me which cards to pull and what message to give. You wanted to know why. 
she left out of that home and didn't grab a coat because she knew her transportation would be there. However, that transportation was delayed. I feel like a different person showed up than what she was expecting. But she was expecting this vehicle to be there. The chariot. This card is the chariot once again. Because it wasn't the chariot that she was expecting, there was a change. The chariot, once again, represents the sign of cancer. 